So to start with, we're going to turn on the crime locations. These are indicated by map pins on a map, as uh, traditionally um, crimes have very, for a very long time been uh, used uh, in this way. So the difference now is that our pins are digital and uh, scalable vector graphics. And uh, just looking at them, we can't see any discernible patterns. So in order to really start working with this data, we might want to perform some hotspot analysis. So selecting my items, I can go to my analysis tab and create a hotspot using the KDE method to start with. This is a kernel density estimation and my grids are going to be 100 by 100 meters using hexagonal uh, outputs. I'm using all the default parameters for the kernel density estimation. I just want to set the color scheme. So it's going to be a color brewer with a transparent reversed diverging color scheme. The spectral gives me a blue to red schema. So my cold areas are blue and the hot areas are red. I'm adding these to my existing KDE overlay. And as we'll see now, especially when I turn off my incidents, the hotspots are clearly indicated with a deeper red. So these areas in particular stand out. So we've already got a lot more information out of this uh, data set than we had when we just looked at the pins to begin with. The next step then is to move into this newer algorithm developed by the UCL. This is Gettysord GI star. Gettysord gives us uh, much more um, in the results of our analysis. So I'm going to use the grid here, which is a 100 by 100 square meter grid cell. And in each cell, I've counted the number of uh, incidents. This time I'm creating a process on the grid. The process itself is called Gettysord GI star. And I have to point to the expression where my data is held. And this is the count of the incidents. So we know how many incidents are within each cell. I am using a hexagonal grid cell. So there are only six uh, neighbors. And I want to use the k nearest neighbor relationship. That's all. I'm going to create a new overlay calling this one get this ord uh, gi star and then we can finish so the information i was talking about that we now get uh, as opposed to the kde is the two data sets up here so we have the gi star p value which is the probability of this being a hotspot and we have the GI star Z score, which is an indication of uh, like uh, of uh, clustering and uh, being a hotspot. Positive value signifies a hotspot, negative value a cold spot. Because this is a, using standardized range of values, we can apply a theme to this data set, which has also been standardized. So there is no need to have to discern or decide by the GIS operator what the theme should look like. So we can use this uh, GI star Z score. And this is not only looking at the hotspots, but also giving us information on with what sig statistical significance this is a hotspot. The result then shows us hotspot areas and what the probability is that it is really a hotspot, giving us the means to focus uh, our resources more accurately.